Today on High Now, it's the giving season, and we'll show you some tasty ways that you can give back. Then I learn a new way to cook a Thanksgiving turkey for the holidays. Then get your popcorn because it's time for the Hawaii International Film Festival. This and more right now on High Now. How's it? Aloha and welcome to High Now Weekender. I'm Kainua Carlson. We're here in the High Now Kitchen. I am joined by Rick from Ruby Tuesdays and Emily from Aloha United Way. That's because there's a very special partnership going on between you two. Tell us a little bit about what Ruby Tuesdays is doing. Oh, thanks Kainua. Really happy to. We are doing a, a roundup uh, partnered for the Aloha United Way at Ruby Tuesday. It'll start December 1st. So all the guests that come in, you'll be able to round up your check. And, and all those uh, pennies will add up to dollars that are much needed for Aloha United Way. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Aloha United Way is a big umbrella charitable in Hawaii that takes care of about 350 companies, uh, charitable companies. Mm -hmm. So, we're so happy to do this. We're also gonna stuff our, our to-go um, um, bags yeah, yeah, with yeah, flyers. Mm. And we're asking our employees if they are able to, to help out and, and donate to Law United Way in their checks. Awesome. Now, Emily, yeah. t tell us a little bit about uh, the, the partnership and uh, Aloha United Way, just for people who aren't familiar a little Absolutely. bit about it. So right now we're in our annual workplace giving campaign. So this is where we partner out with local businesses and companies all over the state. And we ask them to engage their employees, engage their customers, the public, and get them involved in making community change. And so just like Rick mentioned, there's various ways that people can do it. One of the really cool things that we've noticed though is when employers come back and they share with us that they ran a workplace giving campaign, they mentioned that it, it boosts employee morale, people get more engaged and excited, they feel better about who they work for because they see their company making a difference. And all of these dollars go to help support AUW's efforts. Our major program, 211 Statewide Helpline, offers assistance to people statewide that have needs for housing, food, shelter, through September, we've already received 70,000 inquiries. They come in through the phone, online chat, even text messages needing assistance. And we have specialists standing by with, uh, that are familiar with over thousands of programs that'll connect them to the, the need that, they, the, the need that they're, they're needing to meet. Yeah, and, and what, I think what's great about it is that every time you go and support the Ruby Tuesday, you know the money is able to stay here That's and right. really benefit these programs that are impacting us here in Hawaii. Rick. Ruby Tuesdays, why was this uh, an important thing for you folks to get involved with and support the Aloha United Way? You know, kind of, I've always said we're one of the most charitable companies out there, and they are one of the top charities out there, and especially what, what they cover. As I said earlier, 250, give or take, charitable organizations are helped out by the Aloha United Way. That's awesome. You know, we've been, we've been really charitable, but it's really geared a lot towards People like the IHS and the River mm -hmm. of Life and you know the humane societies of the world. Well, this is going to allow our, our help to cover a lot of other people out there in need. And you know, it feels awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I am a Ruby Tuesdays uh, boy. Yes. I'm a Connie yes. boy, so I yes. have frequented <laughs> the Windward Mall location. We got a bunch of grinds. Oh, yeah. You got to walk us through the spread over here because don't forget, gang, every time you go, you support Ruby Tuesdays, you get your meal, you round up, you can support Aloha United Way. What we got here, Rick? All right. Tell us about it. You right over here, Zach? We got the hashtag oh, skillet. Oh, there we go. Hashtag oh, that skillet. That is one of the most popular dishes, chunks of corned beef. Yeah, a scrambling made, made your own way. It's got ham and cheese and an assortment of vegetables. Our French toast right here that you, you Ooh, know, really. That's the money <laughs> shot right oh, yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, this, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, this, this is for you, kind. <laughs> this is all for you. Five plates. <laughs> Perfect. Hungry Man with a ribeye mm -hmm. and our fried rice that's made daily in the restaurant with scrambled eggs. So local boy breakfast yeah. right there. And our local moco oh. right oh, here. Oh, look at this. Now, everybody makes a local moco, but if you've ever had the hamburger patty from Ruby Tuesday, you'll know why ours is one of the best out there. So please come on in, round up for Aloha United Way, 
I appreciate this time, kind of. Mahalo to the both of you for coming uh, in, and don't forget, gang, continue to support Ruby Tuesday's Roundup. It all goes to Aloha United Way. We'll have all this up on HighNowDaily.com. Today on High Now, we're going to take you inside 870 Hawaii's newest showroom, where they're taking a holistic approach into everything they do. 870 is an umbrella company of all of our different products and services that we carry. We're better known for handling a lot of the condominium and larger commercial projects in town, primarily in Kaka'ako. Also have a retail division, includes some of the showrooms that you see here in Alama Kukui. We're here in our new and estimated showroom. It's only been open for four months. We are opening to the general public now that things are opening up. Ernestimeda is one of the top premier brands out of Italy. It's one of the largest manufacturers and producers of kitchens in Italy and we're really really fortunate to be able to bring this to Hawaii. Really designed for all different variety of whether it's condominium or single family home. Being a really premier brand we're really really fortunate to to be able to feature this large collection. Our showroom features three of the five collections they currently carry. These collections are designed by world-renowned architects and designers. So, you know, we really don't have to be the designers when you come in. You can choose the collection that you're interested in, and from there we can help model it. Now, we want to make it really approachable. We want the product to not just be for the, the uber-rich. It can be a larger range of budgets that we can uh, accommodate. These products are new introductions, you know, to Hawaii, for Hawaii. Sanford, tell me about this. Yeah, so this, this collection is called Soul. I'll show you a couple things, like this is a really a nice space saver that reconfigured. It really gives you a you know, greater use, opens up, but also one other position, puts this whole thing parallel. So you can take a, a, a smaller configuration and make it a lot bigger. This is actually a trolley that hides a cooktop. You can also hide a sink, a cutting board that's hidden away. So again, making more use of the space, making utilitarian, easy to use. I do a lot of cooking, so this is really great where you can have access to a lot of the things that you need, whether it's spices or utensils. Functionality of being able to reach and get what you need when you need it. This display, we, we're featuring a large format porcelain, and uh, not just on the countertop, but actually on all the cabinetry doors, too. This is another possibility that it's all modular. We can, we can mix and match, uh, but this is featuring uh, what I would consider a dry bar. You can have your uh, liqueurs, your wines on the bottom and then have a work surface here uh, with whatever stemware that you need. Another key feature of the Icon collection uh, is this transformable table. You can comfortably seat two people just with a quick pull. In a relatively small area, you can actually expand it and actually have a fairly large kitchen. We really want to be able to cater to a, a wider range, customize it, and even localize it a little bit. We set up an individual website. You can go to ernestamedahawaii.com. Brought to you by 870. Aloha and welcome back to Hainau Weekender. Each year, Navi in Hawaii pays tribute to the memories of past patients with its Hall of Heroes. These are individuals from all walks of life who have left tremendous legacies. Let's take a look at one of the Hall of Heroes, Dale Lisa Yanagihara. Dale was a successful businesswoman, a surfer, a champion golfer, an accomplished ballroom dancer, a skilled ikebana practitioner, and above all, a loving, caring wife and mother. When Dale was diagnosed with cancer, she approached it as she did everything else, relaxed and fearless. I remember the first time I met her. Wow, it was a car wash that her sorority was hosting, a benefit car wash, and I saw this gorgeous young lady. I thought, wow. I, I didn't even think I had a chance with her. So Dale and I met in uh, the spring of 1971. She just had this air of confidence about her. Confidence and calmness. And I was really drawn to that. She's very strong. She's very independent, very smart. I will describe her as I'm like yellow roses. I heard yellow roses means friendship and caring. She originally went to work for a uh, employment agency and she quickly advanced to the company and eventually became the first woman Asian branch manager for Pitney Bowles in its history. 
she broke so many barriers in, in her life. And she just would not be, allow herself to be pigeonholed, you know, as a woman. Because early on, she was surfing when very few women surfed. We, on the other hand, we wait on the beach for our boyfriends to come back from surfing. Dale was out there surfing. I still remember this. In early July, they discovered a mass in her liver. I remember Dale asked her, how long do I have? At that time, the doctor said, probably one year. She grabbed my hand, looked in my eyes, and told me, thank you. I had a good life. I have no regrets. <sighs> we need to be strong for our daughter. Well, I can't thank Navian enough for all the support they gave me and my daughter. And it allowed Dale to pass with dignity at her home. This was her home. She, you know, she created this home, the furnishing. She selected this place. This is where she wanted to meet her maker. And having an organization like Navian helped us to fulfill that goal. Since we weren't going to have a funeral, I, you know, we made a decision among us that when the obituary comes out, we'll tell all her friends, instead of providing what, you know, the Asian people call a code-in, uh, that we would request that they make contributions to Navian. My personal opinion, the Navian people is a hero because they are there when human has the most difficult time in your life, they are there to help you. I do think that's the most difficult time in your life for the person who's ending the life, more so for the family member or loved ones who've been caring for the person. You know, it's not really the length of a person's life, but it's the quality, and she led a very high quality life. And that, I, you know, it's praiseworthy. She was the best I could ever hope to have had as a wife, a mother, a best friend, and someone who took care of me beyond my wildest dreams when I was a little young boy when I first met her. Aloha and welcome back to Hainau Weekender. The 41st annual Hawaii International Film Festival is in full swing. You guys kicked off earlier this month and it's been an incredible journey for you folks. I'm here with Executive Director Becky Stichetti. How are you? Hi, thanks so much for having us. We're doing really well. Awesome. How has it been this uh, past couple of weeks? Everything at HIF has been so exciting this year. We are thrilled to be able to present again in person at Kahala Theatres. Our closing weekend in person in, uh, in Hawaii, uh, Honolulu, is happening this weekend. Uh, so be sure to come down and check it out. We have incredible films, American-ish, Crossings, Users, Red Rocket, uh, Directors in Person at Kahala. Awesome, this is at Kahala Mall Theaters. Kahala Theaters Consolidated. They're brand new, renovated, absolutely stunning inside. That's what I heard. How is that, sitting in there, brand new renovation, watching all of these films? It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. The lobby is beautiful. They have all new food, uh, brand new seats, projection sound. It's really, really stunning. Awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about these films that are happening, again, closing weekend? These films are part of our New Americans Perspectives program uh, with Vilcek and um, we have the directors in town. We also, coming up after the in-theater part, we have our Film for Thought program, which is presented with Hawaii Council for the Humanity with lots of panels online. Um, we have a ton of HIF industry talks happening online as well. Uh, you can participate, talk to people about environmental issues, about these films, uh, with scholars and thought leaders in our communities. We're really excited about the next couple of weeks. Cool event. So you guys have something going on next week and then to close it as well. So tell me about what's happening. We have our new media virtual reality exhibit happening the 19th through the 21st here in Honolulu. Um, our opening is at Box Jelly. Okay. And then you can come view any of the programs from the 20th or 21st at Entrepreneur's Sandbox. Awesome. Um, incredible programs. We have Sutu, 
we have local artist Taiji Terasaki, and it's like the virtual reality with a headset, and then also augmented reality, extended reality, XR. There are a ton of projects to come check out. Awesome, and where can we get reservations or sign up for reservations and get more information? Everything that's happening online and our virtual reality is all free. Please RSVP to attend. Um, and you can also buy tickets for all the cr great screenings we have this weekend at hip.org. Awesome. So hip.org, make a reservation. It is free for that last event you were talking about, so you want to go and check it out. But also, we'll have everything up on highnowdaily.com. Thank you so much, Becky, for being here. Thank you. Coming up, find out how you can fry your turkey without oil this Thanksgiving when High Now returns. Creating your brand is an important aspect of success in the real estate market. Luckily, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Hawaii Realty offers resources that can help. It is so important that you spend time on your personal brand. In the market that we're in and the number of real estate agents that are on this island, it is so important to figure out who you are, how you stand out from the crowd, and position yourself as an expert and as a trusted advisor. A personal brand is an opportunity to tell a story. So who you are and what you do lets people get to know you, connect, and really build a foundation of trust. Iconic brands are iconic because they align on a strategy, clear communication, and visual representation. With real estate agents, it's all about the agent and trust in the agent putting forth a professional, community-centered persona is really crucial. How we start is with some self-reflection. So it's about figuring out who you are. We could often start with writing a tagline or maybe a mission statement, which is a sentence or two about how working with you would be different than working with another agent or another person. So starting with identifying your core value is really the best place to start. Photography and headshot is really key. A picture speaks a thousand words. We are in a very video first world. So investing in video is supremely important. Social media channels as well as website is an easy way to really ensure that when someone Googles your name that you're putting forth a great online persona and a great personal brand. Social platforms are a no-cost way to build your brand. It really lets your community, your sphere, know who you are, what you do, and lets them think of you as the real estate trusted advisor in their community. Personal branding is not gonna be a one-size-fits-all practice. Spending time in the beginning to find out what your core values are, what differentiates you from other brands, so important, especially in real estate where it's an incredibly competitive landscape. If you are a real estate agent, we at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Hawaii Realty offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have a personal marketing planning program. It is one-on-one -on -one coaching with our marketing department to develop a, a personal brand to develop a plan for marketing yourself and to really help guarantee success for our agents out there in the market. You can find us at bhhshawaii.com. Brought to you by Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Hawaii Realty. Hey, how's it all, gang? We're back at City Mill and Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So if you want that bird done right, done tasty, done easy, then you need the Big Easy. This is one of City Mill's most popular items. Dude, for people who don't know, what is the Big Easy? The Big Easy is like an air fryer on steroids. You cook your turkey, you get a crispy, moist turkey, without the oil, without the mess. That's right, but the awesome part is you get that crispy skin, you Crisp, get all that yes. good taste that That's you love on part. that turkey, That's, right? Yes. Okay, we got a 12 pound bird right here. This is gonna go straight into the big easy and we're going local style with the seasoning, right? Yeah, 10 minutes per pound. Okay, okay, okay oil first. So we're gonna do some oil and rub that guy all around there. And then now we're gonna season. Okay. We're gonna do some cracked pepper and then the Hawaiian salt. Turkey is seasoned, 12 pounder. This is gonna, gonna go for about two hours, right? Correct. Okay, here we go. Legs right down. Right here, okay. like this. All right, our turkey is going in. Like this. This is gonna go for about two hours and you don't even need to top it, right? Nope, the top can go on at the last 15 minutes. It's been about two hours. We put this on to crisp it up. Now it's time to take it out. Okay. 
We are going to go right like this guy. Thank you, thank you. And we're going to pull this bird out. Look at that bird. Wow. This turkey looks and smells amazing. Yes, and look how crispy the outside is, just like it was deep fried, but it was not. Let's do this. Oh. So we got, look at this, we got all that awesome skin, super juicy, super moist. Happy holidays from Happy City holidays. Mill. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll have all this up on iNowDaily.com. Brought to you by City Mill. Hey, welcome back. We've got a cool um, guest in studio today. This is Dave Mosbro. He's the executive director of Hawaii Symphony Orchestra. You guys got something super cool coming on, right? We do. You know, this past weekend, we reopened to live performances indoors at the Hawaii Theater Center. Welcomed, you know, a thousand of our closest friends back indoors. Uh, and we're ready to launch what's next for us, which is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, coming up here on November 27th and 28th, Saturday and Sunday of Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, we'll be doing the music from Final Fantasy VII and remake a video game. Awesome. So if you're a gamer, this is something you definitely want to attend because of like the music. It's going to be loud. It's going to be fun. This, Every, yes. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So Final Fantasy 7 made by Square Enix. Um, the Composer that's joining us, Nobu Umatsu, will be in town. It's the only performance he's coming to since about 2019. Um, he'll be coming in from Japan for these performances in the audience. Um, but if you're a gamer, you know that the music from these is iconic, and we'll have 100 musicians on stage. Grammy Award winning conductor Arnie Roth will be conducting the orchestra, uh, chorus members, but on top of that, we will have shots from the uh, video game played on the big screen over the orchestra. Wow, that's incredible. And like you said, you guys haven't done anything like this before, so it's gonna be huge. We've done things similar. We've done Star Wars, we've done Harry Potter, but we've never gone down the video game route. So this is the first time the show has sold out in London, Texas, it's in Boston this week uh, as well. Um, and so this opportunity to have it here in Honolulu is amazing and I'm confident tickets are gonna go quick, so get them uh, this week here and join us at the Blaisdell. And where can you get tickets and all of that good stuff, info? You can get tickets at myhso.org. Tickets are there. Um, you'll see some excerpts from the performances that are coming up here and we look forward to welcoming an audience and tickets are on sale today for Star Wars Ooh, in January, so that, a little bonus. I've got a lot of Star Wars fans in my life, so that's something that they're definitely gonna wanna hit me up for tickets. Well, in these performances, you know, the audience is all in. They come in costumes, so you know, you could come dressed as a stormtrooper or whatever you'd like, so yeah, really engaged with the audience. Right, and you know, the last time we were just talking earlier, I was dressed in my Halloween costume and then you didn't even recognize me. I, I didn't. This was the, the second first time we've met. Uh, so <laughs> thank you for that opportunity. But uh, yeah, it's so, the, the symphony's in a really great place and we're so excited to welcome audiences back and uh, just really appreciate the support from the community that supported us throughout the last year. Awesome. One more time, tell everybody where you can get more information and purchase some tickets. Tickets are available at myhso.org or through Ticketmaster uh, through the Blaisdell. So we look forward to seeing you on Saturday and Sunday of Thanksgiving weekend here. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you. We'll have all of this up on highnowdaily.com. Coming up, find out how to give your kids an engaging interactive education when High Now returns. Aloha, welcome back to High Now Weekender. Asia Pacific International School was founded in 2015 over here on Oahu. It's located out in Haula, very unique place for our keiki to get educated here at home. We have Tobias Tillemans here. He is a educator and teacher out there. Tobias, tell us about the curriculum out there. So the curriculum for this school is really pretty similar to what you'd have at any other school. It's kind of more the approach to how we use it that's unique there. It's a place-based, project-based school which means we try to take our curriculum and use it to study the environment around us and to uh, make it relevant for the people that are taking our classes. So we'll uh, stay, study the uh, marine environment right in front of our school right. to study marine science. Which, I mean, what a unique opportunity that is. You got indoor and outdoor classroom right out there. Yeah, it's just an amazing spot to have a school. And uh, you know, you've grown up here in the Hawaiian mm -hmm. Islands. You know that this is an amazing place to live. 
It's a very unique ecosystem and a really unique culture. Definitely. You've been in education now 10 years. We were speaking earlier. You actually came from India. What was it about APIS that drew you out there to be teaching at Haula? Well, you know, like India, the places we were, were a really unique environment. And the thing that drew us here, and my wife is also a teacher at the school, uh, is the uh, community and the environment. It's just an amazing spot to be an educator, and particularly the way we do it which is place-based and through projects, it's just a, a great way to teach, it's really fun. Yeah, and it's a it's Christian value system and it's really hands-on project and, and task learning. Talk about that. Yeah, so uh, super hands-on. I mean, we have a farm at the, system, at the school. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the water around our school and uh, together we've just got an awesome opportunity to kind of blend the values of a Christian school mm -hmm. with the environment to make it super place-based. Now, uh, there's a host of different places that our KK can go and get educated. What do you think makes APIS different and unique than others that are out there? Oh, it's definitely kind of the way we apply uh, or way we use the content in our classes. And that's just to make it relevant by, by using projects and trying to teach skills. So a project-based system is more emphasizing the skills uh, that a student might have going into uh, the next 20 years. We think that that's really important, maybe more important than the content used to be, you know? Mm -hmm. So the way we uh, teach is to apply our content to new skills, and that's what makes it a unique place. Yeah, and I know it's a little over 150 students, somewhere in that range, but these kids are, are getting very focused uh, training in terms of the class sizes and what you guys are able to pr provide as well. Yeah, doing this kind of thing where you're studying, taking kids snorkeling or up into the, uh, the um, agricultural fields that we have, it really helps to have a small number of students that we can give them individual attention. Uh, so that's what we have, and it makes teaching there really fun and a lot more applied. Right, and then name a more beautiful place than teaching out there in Haula, getting oh, to wake man, up out there every day. Oh tough, yeah, it's an amazing <laughs> spot. Uh, and you guys, uh, it's open enrollment right now. You guys are taking Keiki, correct? Yeah, we are, that's right. So uh, the school is easy to find, uh, APISHawaii.org, uh, and you know we're looking for uh, people and we're happy to talk to anyone. Well, mahalo for coming in, Tobias. And don't forget, APIS is located out in Haula, founded in 2015 out here on Oahu. Great local place for our local keiki to get educated at. But if you're interested in supporting local and you want to hit businesses and local vendors, the Made in Hawaii Festival is set to kick off. Rachel got a chance to check it out. Take a look. Aloha, we are here with Keith Anemia. He is the executive director of CPB Foundation. You guys are sponsoring the Maiden Hawaii Festival this year, and it's so incredible because it's one of the longest running and most beloved showcases of Hawaii products. What is the value that it brings to CPB Foundation? The Central Pacific Bank Foundation's mission is to support local businesses and the local community in general. And the Maiden Hawaii Festival is a perfect way to show that support. Uh, there are hundreds of local vendors at the Made in Hawaii Festival. It's a four-day festival this year uh, during Veterans Day weekend. It's just that CPB Foundation is proud and honored to be part of this year's Made in Hawaii Festival. I'm here with a spokesperson, Olena Q. I love the Made in Hawaii Festival. I go almost every year. Who doesn't love it? I mean, it's got everything that you would ever want. This year, it's bigger, better than ever. It's our 27th year. We're gonna feature nearly 300 vendors from all the islands. Well, so what do we have on the table in front of us? So in front of us, we have Barefoot League apparel, which is just a small indication of some of the apparel that we're gonna have. We'll also have art. We've got salty wahine, salts and sugars, and they are from Kauai, but the salt is harvested from Hawaii Island and Molokai. And then we also have Maui fruit jewels, which makes uh, candies and all kinds of fun stuff with organic fruits from the Valley Isle. We're gonna be spacing out admittance, so there'll be 500 people per entry and they'll have a limit of two hours to do their shopping. But if two hours is enough, you just gotta go a couple of days, right? Yes. So it is actually Veterans Day weekend, starting on Veterans Day, which is November 11th through the 14th. So you have four days. Ooh. We're gonna be requiring those show proof of vaccination or negative COVID tests within 48 hours if you're over 12 years old. Mm -hmm. We'll also have temperature checks, sanitization mist, ask everyone to wear their masks, and be socially distanced. It's going to be outside at Ala Moana Center's parking on the Malka Eva Wing, and so it's actually going to be covered but open air as well. Do all your holiday shopping and then some. You can go to MadeHawaiiFestival.com. You can also purchase from the vendors directly there and have it sent to your friends on the mainland. Awesome! And then the thing that I was looking at as well is that it's over a course of the four days, but if you missed it, you can still go online and order things, right? That's right. You can still support our local community, our local people, crafters, manufacturers. Those families can always use your support, especially during COVID times. 
but if you get your tickets in advance, they're $13, and then during the week, then they'll be $15. So you save a couple of bucks. And again, this is the 27th year, mm -hmm. but first time it's gonna be at the Alamoana Center, right? That's right, so brand new location, lots of parking, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. You can go down to the Maiden Hawaii Festival and get all of these goodies and more, and everything will be up on our website as well, highnowdaily.com. Brought to you by the Made in Hawaii Festival. Coming up, we check out and take out what's new at Market City Shopping Center after the break. Hello and welcome back to High Now Weekender. Today we're taking a look at local places you can check out and take out from Market City Shopping Center. Take a look. These are some of our local favorites we got over there. You know all about Ben, Franklin, oh, Rachel, yes. right? Yep. There's only Kailua, but we're talking Market City. Yes, Market City. And you know, this is such a cool place to go, especially for the holidays, because they got everything for your do-it-yourself mm. craft. And of course, they were voted 2021 Best of Hawaii Craft Store. So you want to check them out if you want to, you know, make your own wreath this year. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a kids' school project. I remember that from the right. old good days, the science project. Get the poster board, get all the glue, <laughs> get all the stuff, yeah. right? And I was always <laughs> doing that, sadly, like the night before it was due. I was one of those kids procrastinating the whole time. But hey, anytime you're doing crafts or uh, anything like that, you got to go check out Ben Franklin. They're going to have everything you need. Yeah, that's right. And then if you're hungry, you just go right over next door. Ooh, that's right. Another spot. The best pho. Can we talk about the best name? I love that I name. I love that. They always get really <laughs> clever with the pho names, and I love it. So the best pho. You ever been? I haven't been there, actually. It's delicious. You got to get in there. They've got some of the best I've had. So. Uh, uh, they're a small local family running that restaurant. And again, it's in Market City mm -hmm. Shopping Center. You want to check them out. They use the freshest ingredients in their dishes. Very authentic, homemade pho soup. And that's, uh, you know, a couple months left here for all you people trying to hit the gym, trying to get a little healthier. Let's stop with the <laughs> rice and mac salad. Let's eat some veggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on that note, they also got Donut King. <laughs> And Donut Which, King is fantastic. I had them yesterday, man. <laughs> Donut sure. King, I Donut King is one of my favorite donuts on the island. Absolutely. Always fresh, they're always delicious. Look at and that. I mean, you got bacon. bacon. Come on. You now. got sweet and savory, and Donut King is just all around all delicious. Yes, yeah, so my daughter's birthday cake, she asked for a donut cake, and that's what she got. A Donut King birthday cake. Oh, that's just threw awesome. a couple of candles on top of that bacon. Yeah, Donut King Hawaii is fantastic. <laughs> Make sure you go ahead and check them out. What's your favorite one? I like that maple bacon with the yeah, bacon. The maple, yeah, the maple so bacon good. is good. They also have really good donut holes that I like too. Pretty relatively uh, easy prices. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Like a dozen, oh my gosh. Those okay, but you quick. have to try their croissant sandwiches. Their croissants Ooh, are so okay. fresh, crispy, flaky. So good. Are you not sold on Donut King? I want some donuts right now. And don't forget to support more local businesses. All you have to do is head to the che uh, checkout and takeout section on HawaiiNewsNow.com. Here on Hawaii Island, HFS Federal Credit Union is helping you save all of your pennies. And they've been doing it for almost 85 years. On January 4th of 2022, we're going to celebrate our 85th birthday. Credit Union was originally started by a group of eight Hawaii Territorial Federal employees, and 85 years later, we're HFS Federal Credit Union, about 50,000 members, and close to 800 million in assets, so they've come a long way. Now, our commitment co to the community really starts with our employees, because they really, really sincerely care about, obviously, the credit union and the community. We like to take a part in, whether it's Hawaii Care Choices or a local food bank basket or something like that, just to give back a little, I guess, as much as we can to the community, the broader community. So we do fundraisers for them. Our members are extremely generous. They support everything we take part in. And, um, and of course, there's a lot of sweat equity with the employees, so that's fantastic. I kind of feel like when we're working here at the Credit Union, we get a chance to live that life, you know. We give back to the community that we live in, and it, it feels really nice. We've been really blessed. We have an outstanding membership, outstanding staff, and we've actually won a number of awards recently. Like, for example, we're named one of the best credit unions in the state of Hawaii which is just amazing for this credit union. And I think we've uh, won the best in East Hawaii for a number of years now. And that's just a tribute to all our membership. 
because they take such great care of our credit and they really love this place. They take a lot of ownership, you know, they tell us exactly what we need to do to be better. In fact, I was just talking with a member yesterday and she's telling me exactly how to do my job better and I really, really appreciate that because it's fantastic, you know. Because unless she tells us, you know, what we can be doing better, we can never improve, yeah. So thanks to their membership, thanks to the hard work of all our employees who really, really sincerely care about their members and the community. I think it's one of the reasons we get a chance to be blessed with some of these awards. The staff really is the heart and soul of Credit Union. We just celebrated a couple of 35-year employees when I just made 35 years as a Gerald, and they're just fantastic. And these employees, they're kind of like the guardians or the caretakers of the Credit Union. You know, Credit Union hopefully will be here for, for many, many, many more years. As long as we're here, we get to be kind of guardians of this place you know, kind of carry forward that same feeling that that original eight territorial employees had when they started the place. Our employees are fantastic, they really care. You know, we like to say that we're a place that where caring counts, and I think all of our employees are truly, truly like that. You know, just wanna thank our membership for being so good to us. Hopefully, Credit Union lives on for many, many more years, maybe indefinitely, and hopefully we get a, to be a good part of that. Brought to you by HFS Federal Credit Union. Coming up on High Now, Alaska Airlines is making some exciting changes to travel when we return. Ulana Ward Village is the newest mixed residential project to join the Kaka'ako neighborhood. Lana Ward Village is coming and it's going to be a fantastic project because it's going to really focus on the first time home buyer and really target our Hawaii residents. It's going to have almost 700 residents that are dedicated to reserved housing and it's going to be priced for their needs and what our local families need here in Hawaii. Ulana in Hawaiian means to weave and the idea of this name is that we're putting these local residents here in the heart of Kaka'ako and it's going to weave them into the community. The location of it is fantastic. You're gonna be so close to the ocean. Many of the homes are gonna have fantastic views. Ward Village is an incredible master plan community. It's designed 60 acres in Kaka'ako. And we know growing up that we've it's fantastic retail, but really they're incorporating so many, much, much more into the community. There's 89 different retail spaces. There's entertainment, a wide range of choices of restaurants. Um, and then now the residence is, again, an incredible plan community that has everything in it that you're gonna need. We have a fantastic list of amenities here at Ulana Ward Village. They're all gonna be on the ground level, which is really unique for something in town right now. We have a Ulana Lawn that's gonna have barbecue cabanas. You know, us locals like to, to get together and barbecue. There's gonna be a children's area that they can enjoy, and, um, and it's gonna be pet friendly. Just adjacent to the building, there's gonna be a new park called Kala'i Okakula I.O. Park and that's gonna be open to the public as well, but it's just gonna be right outside the door so you can take advantage not only of the private space at the Ulana Lawns, but you can go outside to the park and enjoy that as well. Architects Hawaii AHL has designed the building and then in the interiors are done by Inform Design as well as PBR that's gonna be doing the landscaping. They focused on sustainability, efficiency to give homeowners the best of urban and island living. There's going to be studios, one, two, and three bedrooms, and it's going to accommodate a range of our local families that really need what we need here in Hawaii right now. There's going to be beautiful um, finishes within the property itself. You're going to have quartz composite countertops, um, beautiful uh, lacquered, you know, design cabinetry, also LVT luxury vinyl tile for the floors, carpeted bedrooms, all the homes will have air conditioning, stack washer dryers, and the list is, goes on and on. It's going to be fantastic. You can sign up for a free Zoom presentation on the website, ulanawardvillage.com, or you can call our gallery. We're also open up for gallery tours. We'd love to see you down here. Applications are now available. To learn more, go to ulanawardvillage.com. Brought to you by Locations. Welcome back. Alaska Airlines and Travel to Change just launched a brand new partnership. We have Mondi and right. Daniel here from Alaska Airlines to tell us a little bit about it. We're gonna start with you though, Mondi. Sure. Travel to Change, for people who aren't familiar, what is it? So we connect Kama Aina and like-minded visitors at the center of fun and impact. So it's as simple as going to traveltochange.org slash Alaska Air. You go on there, check out experiences you wanna book, click it, 
and you get set up. Awesome. Uh, Daniel, how did this partnership come together with uh, Travel to Change and Alaska Airlines? Yeah, you know, we've been doing a lot of work with the Hawaii Tourism Authority and the Hawaii Visitor and Convention Bureau, along with the tourism industry around Malama, Hawaii, right? Which mm -hmm. really is an effort to educate our visitors about how to be more mindful travelers, uh, but also to hopefully encourage them to give back while they're here, right? And so as we've been sharing this messaging with our guests, a lot of them have been saying, okay, great, you know, we want to do this. We want to give back. We want to take care of Hawaii, but how do we do it, right? And so um, really Travel to Change is this essential link that connects our travelers with these volunteer experiences throughout the islands um, and it gives them a new and deeper experience um, for Hawaii but also really supports our communities. Oh, how do you envision this partnership working? Talk about how both organizations are gonna be impacted. Yeah, you know, we are gonna um, do everything that we can to uh, just really message um, Travel to Change out to our guests, you know, because we really do feel that this is the way in which we make Malama and all the values and ideas of Malama actionable, right? Mm -hmm. And so one of the things, and I'll let Mandi talk a little bit about it, is um, there was a recent effort that we supported uh, between Travel to Change and the Native Hawaiian Hospitality Association to really get more nonprofit organizations and community groups engaged in travel to change. And so you can talk a little bit more about that. Sure. Let's hear about it. I'm so happy to. First of all, working with Naha, the Native Hawaiian Hospitality Association, has been such a lift for us in a good way. Uh, we are able to feature up to more than almost 30 experiences coming online in just wow. about a month. So people got options. That's right. right. And they're they're authentic. They're responsibly depicted as far as mm -hmm. Native Hawaiian culture goes. And so that's that's more about what we do as Travel to Change because regenerative experiences are so rare and hard to find. Definitely. We make it easy for organizations to both get on the platform and for the visitor to find them. Yeah, and, and this question is kind of just for both of you, especially uh, in this day and age with more and more visitors coming. Obviously, we're navigating a very uncertain time, but yeah. uh, can we talk about just how important that is? Education, educating our travelers so that when they come here, they behave correctly, they yeah. can enjoy the aloha spirit that we have to provide. Uh, but how important is yeah. a partnership like this? Absolutely, well, you know, there's two parts of the way in which we're approaching Malama Hawaii, right? There's the educational component, right? Where we're really trying to educate our, our visitor about how to act, how mm -hmm. to behave. Right. You know, we want you to do certain things. We no want you more to be social respectful. media Correct. videos of right. people right. Right. not please, behaving okay. the way please they're don't, supposed to be. Please yeah. don't right. tag these places exactly. in which we're trying exactly. to you uh -huh. know, sort of like protect and, and all of that. So there's that component, but there's also the component of how do you give back, right? How do you volunteer while you're here? Right. And then in doing so, right, you get connected to the land, you get connected to our people. You have this different understanding and appreciation mm -hmm. for this place, right? And so then you approach it from, it's, it's, it's learned by doing. Right. right. Yes. And just I was just going to say a perfect example. We were just in the Lo'i at Kako Iwi. Awesome. We just premiered this experience um, and it was really life changing. There were a lot of Kama Aina actually returning who had never been. So it was really a great way to connect with their roots and culture and to share it with their ohana and really give back but at the same time, experience something they'll never forget. Yeah, especially being in the Lo'i, I've been in it, it's, it's, it's life-changing. How do people get involved in Travel to Change? So it's as simple as going to traveltochange.org slash Alaska Air. And also, actually, you're getting an exclusive Kainoa. Oy. So we're just about we to like announce. We now. <laughs> we're just about to announce our Travel to Change Club. And so with this, there is a Regen monthly memberships, $10 a month. You get to hear about the first and latest experiences. And then for those who are our wildest fans who want to go on them first, uh -huh. they can join the annual membership and you'll get a lot of discounts, especially with Alaska Airlines. We want to thank you for that. And just really, really build this regenerative economy, starting well, with tourism. Fantastic. And mahalo to both of you for coming in and educating our travelers when they come here to this place, Absolutely. Hawaii, that we love so much. Don't forget, gang, we'll have all this up on HainalDaily.com. Coming up, we've got some special guests in the High Now studio. Don't go anywhere. How's it, Aloha? Welcome back to High Now Weekend, and we got some special guests in the house. Let's go, Hawks. <laughs> We got Blitz over here and we have William from the Honolulu Seahawkers. You gotta tell us about that. Who is that and what do you guys do? Yes, thanks for having us back. We are the official Seattle Seahawks Booster Club, Honolulu chapter, and we work with NFL players and team captains like Blitz the Seahawks Woo! to do fundraising events for local charities. Awesome. awesome, so tell us about those local charities like Keiki Oka Aina. I know you guys were donating some money to get them some sneakers for some of the Keiki. Yes. Again, that's Keiki Oka Aina, right? That's correct. 
So Blitz did a campaign initiative out in Seattle called Kicks for Kids, where he was able to help us donate 25 pairs of new shoes for Koka. Awesome, and Kiki Oka'aina is a learning center that educates the native Hawaiian population here in Hawaii. So we're so proud and honored for you guys to be doing that and giving away those shoes, those sneakers to those kids, because we need them, right? That's right. <laughs> uh, tell me some other things that you guys have been doing. Uh, you just recently did something with the Purvey Donuts. Um, and also, that's for supporting our local businesses. We're all about contributing to the local business. And that's an excellent donut stop. You have to check it yes. out. I've heard some yes. other talk about other donut places to go. But I'm telling you, Purvey, Purvey is, is the one you really <laughs> want to go to. A great team down there, and it's great to cooperate with them. And you guys do watch parties too, right? You guys kind of get everyone together, and you guys watch the games together. That's How can right. people find out where you guys are going to be and where to watch? Well, you definitely want to check out our Facebook and Instagram, or you can also visit HonoluluSeahawkers.org for the for the watch parties. Big one this Sunday. That's yes. right. We don't know if Aaron Rodgers is going to be there yet. They're not right. letting us know. But, but we know uh, your quarterback's going to be there, right? Russell Wilson Ooh, will be there. That's big time news. Very excited. Guys, and this is going to be at Agave and v, no, Vine. Agave, Agave and Vine. In Agave Alamo. and Vine, out of Moana Center. It's right next to Macy's. Awesome. Well, we, we got to talk about there. what you're holding, man, because I see an autographed football. What is this and how can people win it? All right. So this is a Seattle Seahawks football with Carlos Dunlop, defensive Ooh, end of the Seattle Carlos Seahawks. So, so does this peace. guy right here. Yeah. He's the outfit. That's right. Opportunity <laughs> to win at the event. Okay. So how, how do people answer? You just got to show up to the event. Just got to show up. There'll be a lot of state safety calls there with all the, mm -hmm. we'll make sure that we're going to be safe over there. Right. And first come, first serve. It'll be a little limited space, but we can make it happen. Have a good time. Oh, that's going to be awesome. You know, there's so many different um, NFL teams, NFL organizations out there, but really Seattle has such a strong Hawaii base. A lot of Hawaii people find their way up to the Pacific Northwest. Can you just talk about like, that relationship with the Seahawks and Hawaii football fans? Definitely, big time here. Oh, uh, that's really huge. So we really support our guys like John Ursua. Yes. Yeah, we're really, I know he just had that injury. Mm -hmm. We're really hoping that he gets back out on the field. We got his back 100%. And Michael Bennett. Michael Bennett is someone, uh, Super Bowl champion with you guys, who does a lot of great work out here in the Hawaii community as well. That, that's right. We actually did some charity events with him, uh, hiking and donating to local nonprofits with his help. Awesome. You know, a fun fact, I used to live in Seattle. I did, and I tell you, you guys, I mean, it's so many fans, yeah. mm -hmm. it's crazy, they really... They're wild. We take yeah. it up another letter. We are very loud. Right. And it just happens. Yeah, it's, it's all about it's the talk. I have a cool Seattle story. I got a chance to play at Quest Field back in high school. Nice. We did the Emerald City Classic over there and Eastlake. I mean, so many great uh, great schools and mm -hmm. local businesses over there, too. Love awesome. Seattle. I know, right? But bottom line is that you guys are supporting so many of our uh, lo local nonprofits and really getting out there again with Keiki Oka'aina. Mahalo for all that you folks do. You guys do beach cleanups. You guys are constantly in constantly in our community just trying to improve it and make it better. So thank you so much for all that you guys do. And speaking with that beach cleanup, that was a big part of our Veterans Day mm -hmm. event here with Blitz. We showed some spirit and appreciation to all the veterans over at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, Fort Cam Beach. We did a beach walk, cleaned up all the debris that came onto the beach and had a good successful event. So we're grateful for everybody that came out. Uh, also an appreciation to EL what, Evolution mm -hmm. Energy. Oh, yeah. Right. And a great cause right there. So uh, thanks for helping out. Awesome. One more time. How can people get more information? They want to come down, try and win this football, hang out with Blitz, <laughs> watch a game with you guys. Where do they need to go? Want to visit us on Facebook, Instagram, Honolulu Seahawkers, or go to HonoluluSeahawkers.org. Awesome. Fantastic. Blitz, how do we do? We did all right? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it would be like if he could talk, man. <laughs> Blitz is awesome. Thank you for everything you do. William Blitz, Rachel, mahalo for watching. Hi, now. We'll All see right. you guys next week. All right, go Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs> <laughs>